The officer phoned police in Dallas, Texas, U.S., to say she had shot the man on Thursday night. She then told emergency responders that she believed the victim's flat was hers when she entered it after finishing her shift. They gave the man first aid and he was taken to hospital where he later died. Dallas County Medical Examiner's Office identified him as 26-year-old Botham Jean. Jean was a black man from the island of St. Lucia in the Caribbean who went to college in Arkansas and worked for accounting firm PwC. Police have not released the name her race of the officer who arrived home in uniform and was not injured. She has been placed on administrative leave pending the outcome of the investigation. Authorities have not said how the officer got into Jean's home or whether his door was open or unlocked. The block of flats is a short distance from Dallas's police headquarters. At a Friday morning news conference, Sergeant Warren Mitchell acknowledged there are many questions about what happened that he could not answer. We still have a lot to do in this investigation. So there's a lot of information I understand you guys want, but this is all we can give you at this time," he said. When asked if anyone else had witnessed the shooting, he replied, We have not spoken to anyone else at this time. Neighbors said they can access their building with a regular key or by using a keypad code. Two women who live on the second floor near where the shooting happened said they heard a lot of noise late on Thursday. It was like police talk, open up, open up. 20 year old Caitlin Simpson told the Dallas Morning News. Yasmin Hernandez, 20, was studying with Simpson when they heard the commotion. We heard cops yelling, but otherwise had no idea what was going on, Ms. Hernandez said. Jean grew up in St. Lucia and attended Harding University in Searcy, Arkansas, where he often led campus worship services before graduating in 2016, the school said in a statement. That July, he went to work for PwC in risk assurance. Police said they are conducting a joint investigation with the Dallas County District Attorney's Office.